representing Kilfin and Cushley Historical Society. Historical Society, that's right. You're doing a huge amount of good work. Marvellous work, Artilla. Marvellous work. We're putting it all in book form, we are. All our work. And of course, the fear is that unless that is done, it's lost, it's lost forever. Evermore, it is. Absolutely. It is a uh, history for the future. No doubt, yeah. What are, you, what are you depending on then mostly for the source of your information? Is it is it oral history from people or is, do you go through the archives? We go to the archives, we go to the National Museum, we go to the Limerick uh, Library, go to the Research Library and uh, County Library and we research it from there we do. So that be how, m how many journalists have you brought out? We have five brought out to this, uh, at the moment we have. And we are, we are second, uh, our sixth one will be coming out next year. So and a huge amount of work involved by individuals vol through volunteerism. All, all volunteer, all volunteer. And we have a bigger project coming on now, next year. We are at, at the moment, we are going to put a museum in to blow into the Bellavrida Community Centre with the help of the National Museum of Ireland. There was a big excavation done down there in 1934, 1935 with Sean Pierre Reardon. So the artifacts are above in the National Museum but we are doing replicas and we bring them back down to Bellavrina, where the locals can come and see them, students or whoever is interested in history. And uh, tell us a little bit of that excavation. How long did it take? Or it, took, it took two summers, right. from June to September, with the local workforce. All the workforce were, uh, were from the area. And Sean Pierre had come from a university, was it or where? Yeah, from the university. He was attached to the university at the time below in Cork. Right. He later became the director of the National Museum of Ireland above in, in Dublin, in Dawson Street, you know that beer, Kildare Street. So he, he, was a, he made Bellavrina very historical, but for, for a while then people had forgot about it, but we are going to revive it now again. We are. And of course, it's important that the artifacts would be returned, or facsimiles of them. No, or replicas, replicas. Yeah. replicas. Yeah, well, it's They're important replicas. that they, they yes, the locals should be able to see them. Yeah, because there was urns and there was bronze and there was jade. And there was uh, glass and there was um, different stuff found there. Right. You know that, going back for thousands of years, like, you know. And you're all documenting it as well? We have, we have some of it documented already, and there'll be more documented in our new journal, the world. You know and that. of course, all this work uh, obviously costs money. How, how, how do you fund? We, we got funding, first of all, early on in the time from Bella Hora. Right. And then we, ha we were able to make money then out of our books. Then we hold lectures two or three times a year below in the community centre in Bella Arena. And then uh, as, as is costing us nothing that way, because everything is voluntary. And then we are very lucky then that the shops sell all our journals. The local shops here in Kilfinan, Ballylanders, Galbally, Anglesborough, back to Bulganin, back to Kilmallock. We are very lucky that way. We are very thankful to the shopkeepers. So, Roger, you're keeping the past alive? We're keeping the past alive and I hope to have for a long time to come. You're enjoying the day? Yeah, it is marvellous. It's great to see the crowd and it's a lovely evening and lovely it's atmosphere. Yeah. Great atmosphere. It's a great atmosphere around the town. There is, there is a crowd. So, you're enjoying the day? Brilliant, brilliant. Have you purchased? We have. We've left in Blubbard, Martina. We've, any, we've bits and pieces bought. And this is what I bought. This is the last thing. Oh, a calendar, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was, he, was, he was doing a hard sell. <laughs> He's a great tradesman. <laughs> Indeed, Jason. Thanks for talking to us, ladies. You're doing a bit of shopping, Brie. I am, Sorsha. You're enjoying the day? I am indeed, very good. And you've purchased? I have buns from N. Hosford. So there'll be no... He's from Doherty, so I'm supporting all my neighbours. There'll be no fear for no the weekend. No fear of us so. now for tonight. You, so what are, you, what are you selling? Well, I'm a, I'm a nail technician who also has a business called Super Nail Island. And we're the exclusive distributors for Zoe Nail Varnish and Cutica Skincare and um, Ferro Waxing. And as I said, we're an award-winning product. We're voted uh, top, top 10 in nail varnishes. And we retail to beauty salons and shops, as well as uh, providing nail technician services as well. And it's the top product in the, in the market, is it? It is. It's an excellent product. It's the longest wearing natural nail varnish. It's been voted winner several times over, most recently by uh, Daily Mirror readers. And can I suggest you're a marvellous advertisement for your own product? Have a look at those, Andrew. They, ha they take your eye out. <laughs> so, business going well? Well, it's, it's picking up now, which is great. And uh, it's great to sort of, you know, a local business as well and to be supported locally, which, which we have been. So it's lovely to be here today. And you do many fairs? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, we have a, a good selection of nail services, nail extensions, um, shellac, all of the other products that uh, people come to get their nails and pedicures and things like that done as well. 
I presume it's only all women would, would be buying your stuff. Uh, would it be the, be the odd gentleman who would like to have his nails done? Well, they mainly come in to buy gift certs for their wives or uh, girlfriends or, uh, you know, they don't normally tend to come in for themselves, but they can always get, you know, a nice gift cert for the wife or uh, girlfriends. Thanks for talking to us. Shelley, you're enjoying the day? I am sure, Chef. Great day, great buzz. Brilliant. And you're selling as well? I'm here with Neela, um, her little she's helper. my very glamorous assistant, and she's been great. <laughs> Indeed, and so say all of us, Neela. Ladies, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you. Jim Ryan, um, you're enjoying the day? I am indeed, I am indeed. It's a great occasion here in Kilvin and it's the start of Christmas and we hope that it will be good for business and good for the town and good for the locality. It is the second year of it and uh, last year we thought it was, it was, it was brilliant. Um, and I'd say they've surpassed themselves this year even. I think so, I think so, yeah. The quality of the stuff and the stalls I think is, is even better this year than it was last year. And. I'm, I'm nearly right in saying, Jim, you would have said a, a, a couple of years ago that it couldn't be done, wouldn't you? That's true, that's yeah. true, yeah, that's true. There's a great buzz around, and, you know. And uh, people have said the town lends itself to it as well, which is the market area. The it does, street. it does indeed, it does, it does. And there's a great atmosphere here, and uh, the, the development, you know, the new development committee are, are doing a great job, they, I think. They are doing good work. They're doing and a great job, they Certainly, are. as you said, uh, it starts Christmas. It does, it does indeed. And what's, what's the book? It's a pictorial history of Kildowry. Yeah. And this photograph is actually on the front of it is a photograph of Castle Gale, which is actually in County Limerick. Right. And it's the only photograph that exists of it. And the castle that you see on top of it doesn't exist anymore. It's gone since the late 1800s. Right. And uh, we got a photograph of it and it's the only one that exists. So um, the book we produced, um, we launched last uh, early November. And... We have nearly a thousand copies of this all already. So, so, and we, we produced 1,200 copies, so we're, we're absolutely thrilled with it. So, but it's our local history, and it's tremendous success because pictures create such old pictures. They're going back to the middle 1800s up to the present day. And we were talking to Roger O'Donnell up just up there, and much the similar publications. Um, there is an appetite. People have an appetite for that kind of stuff, haven't they? Especially, now, especially nowadays, because we we'll say the way things are, and people, are, I suppose, if the recession is bad as anything, is about as back to, to reality, and we're speaking to our neighbours again, and uh, communities are working as communities should, and um, you know, I think the great thing about forecasts is you, you can start talking about them, and the next thing you hear a story about a story about a story, a story. So. From this we're actually going to produce a folklore book right. of the stories of the forecast. We have we have great history on our own doorstep, and we probably don't know but we don't know enough about it. Mrs. Connery, Lizzie, you'd have one word with us. Um, you're enjoying the day. Marvelous, absolutely great, great all together. You're enjoying it. I am. It's terrific, great, it's wonderful for the Kilpinnan to have something like this happening. There's a great atmosphere about the town. There is actually. It's straight away now, actually, and it's really great. And the stores are beautiful. Collection of everything. And are you buying? That end, yeah. And lots of things. We'll see what we'll do. Yeah, we are buying now. We're going all round. Bit by bit. Oh, we had to support it. My God, we're delighted. And the night is young. It is. It is young. And we're out for the night. And the day is good. And no rain. And no that's rain. The, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. We can muffle up against the cold. Nothing like the fair days of years ago, no? I don't know, dear. I feel it's better. It is, yeah, it is. It is as good as, as ever now, honestly. It is better, I think. Right. Because at the fair days, you weren't able to walk and you couldn't. Well, you can walk around here now. You be, there'll be so many cattle in your way and so many sheep right. and the devil knows what. Yeah. And far more products, of course. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Very good. It's excellent. Right. Yeah. We so great credit due to the organising committee, isn't there? Right. They're great. They're very good here now, actually. Yeah. Great. I like the old uh, Kilfin and uh, development. Good. They are, and it's great to see them going because I was in the first of it even there right. now for years, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's time for me now to retire. <laughs> Never. It's great for us to be alive and, and feeling so well to see this. Yeah. And, and enjoy Wonderful. It. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We are enjoying it. Yeah, we never we are enjoying it. So where are you heading for now? Well, uh, we, we, we have no mind made up yet, but we'll, we'll be at the run or something like that, you know. Nothing stronger, no. Welsh no, coffee. No, we'll never know. No, not. <laughs> You'd never know. If you had never. 
The night is young. The night is young. Yeah. Thanks for talking to us, ladies. And enjoy the rest of the evening. I'm joined now by Aileen Minogue from Killaloo, who I, we spoke last year. Right, what, what has your year been like? Um, it's been good. This year has been much improved to last year. I think everyone is getting, you know, into, you know, getting... Their, their minds are being taken away from the whole recession and that, I think. They're getting used to it, yeah. Well, that's good, at least. Tell us about your product that you're, uh, you're for sale. Everything um, I make myself, and it's all made from sterling silver. Um, I source my pr the products myself. I go to places like Rajasthan and I get my stones there. And I... Um, you, 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 Rajasthan? Yeah. You told me that last year, yeah. and I should have picked you up. Where is it? Pakistan is Northwest India, so in the border of Pakistan. But I go to the guys that actually cut the stones, so that's why. Otherwise, prices would be a lot more expensive. That's why I can keep my prices low. So I go to the source. So where does the stone come from? Is it literally the a rock? Oh no, no. There's different types of stones. Like I have um, rose quartz and jade and real pearls and uh, cornelia and labradorite. Lots of different stones that they cut there. They don't actually come from the country, but they source them themselves and right. they cut them. Yeah. So, and do you depend solely on, on fairs or markets to sell your product or are you in shops? Um, I'm in a couple of shops. There's one really lovely um, jewellery shop on, on Catherine Street called Morantino and um, they actually sell some of my products and in Ennis as well in, in Templegate Hotel and that. And I, I solely depend as well on craft fairs throughout the year and, and fashion shows and stuff, yeah. And uh, you make all the products yourself? I do everything I make myself. So it's just that I'm, I've asked this of, of uh, numerous people. How do you marry the time with making the product? And then you have to go and sell it as well. Yeah. It, it obviously is, it can't be easy. Well, most of my selling time is weekends. So I have the week to make the product then. And um, so that kind of stops me from gallivanting out of the weekends, doesn't it? You, you lead a busy life. I lead a busy life. Seven days a week. <laughs> Thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you. It's a mecca for children, obviously, a sweet shop. How are you doing? What's the name? Candy Rock Lane. My, my name is Trevor. Where are you from, Trevor? Uh, Cork, city. Um, I've seen you at Kilmallock Fair as well. How does Kilfinnan Fair compare to it? It's just nicer, a little bit sweeter today anyway. But um, love it. All around Charleville district. They're really nice people. Good. Can I say you have a marvellous shop? Thank you very much. Um, is, it all, is it all those fairs and markets you do? Uh, mostly fairs, markets, uh, festivals. I'm in Cork and Ice as well. I've kind of pop-up shop there. So we kind of get around everywhere, really. And everyone loves sweets. Everybody, including myself, I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. You have a lovely shop. Yeah. Welcome to Kilfinnan. What's your own name? Yeldiko. Uh, what are you selling? We are selling uh, some gluten-free baking mixes, which is great for the uh, celiacs and they are all great for uh, home baking. Very simple to make. And also we are selling some dessert wine, Hungarian dessert wines. They are all great for Christmas. Hungarian dessert wine? Yes, they are all sweet and semi-sweet, which is great for Christmas uh, dinner. We have no Christmas dinner without them. And also we are selling some uh, mulled wine, which is great in that cold weather. And uh, how is business in Kilfinnan going for you? Good, good. We are delighted. Yeah, that's great. So what may... Is Hungarian wine the best wine of all? Of course, yes. <laughs> of course, they are the best. Very good. So do you have samples? Yes, we do, yeah. Could I have a small drop, maybe? I better go to the other side. I will now... For the purpose of educa educational purposes, Andrew, I'm going to have a drop of Hungarian wine. It's semi-sweet. Semi -sweet. Right. If you like, I can give you sweeter. That is easy drinking. Oh, that's a lovely wine. It's certainly yes, semi-sweet. Yes, certainly lovely, beautiful wine. So, what part of Hungary does the wine come from? Is it a certain area? Very special region. Very special region. That is uh, the called Tokai region, Tokai Hill. And we have all the, in that uh, area that uh, dessert wine, all in, in Europe, not only in Hungary, Hungary in Europe. So they are, that's why they are very special, and we specialize on uh, on uh, dessert wine. And another very important thing to say, you know that. One second. That saying, "King of wines, wine of kings," yes. that said, King Louis. 
the 14th in the 17th century right. of that wine. That's the wine you used to drink? Yes. And he said, that is the king of wine, king wine of wine. kings. So it, if it was good for him, that is great for us. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. A lady who is obviously enjoying the Christmas fair here today. Um, yes, I certainly am. I'm delighted with the turnout. And I hope that it will be a great success for the town. Uh, a great atmosphere about the place. Very good atmosphere, very nice, very lucky with the weather, we're delighted. Almost, no, I say almost to rival what's going on in Effin at the moment, but not quite. Ash, and now look, they worked hard during the year and they deserve to get where they've got so far. And with the help of God, they're back training next week. And, and they're going to win the All-Ireland? Well, they'll do their best, it won't be their fault. Very good. Okay. In very best luck to the Black Rock boys, the footballers. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a great achievement. All Limerick teams now, yeah. cap them work tomorrow, yeah. if they beat Charleville. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's going to be great for Limerick hurling, yeah. isn't it? And Christmas beginning in Kilfinnan. Exactly. Yeah, and long may it continue. What more could one ask? Retold, Neddy, you picked out the Christmas tree. I did, yeah. And cut it down. I cut it down. I said, ditch it. Well, 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 we'll see it later on when it's lit up. So you can take credit for cutting it down? Yeah, and get me for the boys. And that's him last year again. Right. So and now. You, you can obviously tell a good Christmas tree from a bad one. So um, were you into putting up of it? I was there for it. I was, and I cut it going down into the hole even. So and it'll, it'll stay up for Christmas, will it? And the new year. Yeah. Can chalk it down, Phil. Good, lady, good. Okay. That's the way to do it. Thanks for talking to us. Justin Bieber. No, no. Justin to show us a bullfin, actually, but I'm, I'm often mistaken for him. No, but just, just to be was awesome. Of course he's awesome. How are you doing? All the way down from Dublin. Uh, you're enjoying the day here. I am. It's great. Great, great bit of atmosphere. It's going to see a bit of a buzz around the place. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, normally it's quiet when I come down to show but... Uh, yeah, it's great. And well, we had, a, we, had, we had a great event here last year, but I reckon the organisers have, have the organisers have surpassed themselves this year even. Well, it's been a great year. There's a great committee, great to see the young, and, uh, the young people getting involved. And uh, uh, the town needs it, needs a lift around, you know. And there was a great, the autumn, the autumn festival there and now this. And you can see people are having a great time. So, and it's great for all of us coming back as well. I was just going to say, it must be great for people coming back to Gilfin to see the bit of life in the yes, place. Absolutely, because it can be quiet for a long time, as you know. So, uh, yeah. Well done to everybody. And happy Christmas to all. Thank you very much. And the same to you. Thanks very much. Uh, you're enjoying today, John? Very good. Very good. And a fine crowd. We inside? We were. Right. Very impressive. Is it? Yes. Well, we're just to go and have a walk, you know, and see. So there's some impressive artwork in there? Lovely artwork, no. Right. Yes. And nice to see the church alive right. and open. And Isn't it great, yeah? Great. There's a lot of work about going to be done. Well, helpful, hopefully, no. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, yes. Which is the way it should to be afraid for, for a magnificent building to, to go into disrepair. Of course, that would of course. And it is in good repair. Yeah. It is in good repair. John, thanks very much for talking to us. Well, we visited the art exhibition here last year. Uh, let's see what they have on offer this year, and hopefully it'll be just as impressive. I'm joined now in the Protestant church here in idyllic surroundings, if a little cold, by Tara Bolands, artist, and Aileen Keller, who's been looking after events here today. Aileen, how's the day gone for you? It was absolutely fabulous. People are very impressed with the local artists here and Tara's work is absolutely beautiful. Um, the children from the National School displayed their beautiful ceramics and um, they were very excited when they came in and saw their work up and display. Um, you know, it's amazing the amount of talent that's here in Kilfin and the local mm -hmm. surroundings and I'd say a lot of people are shocked and surprised. With the, with the work that's here today. Shocked and surprised in equal measure, no Absolutely. doubt. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff now when you'd look at it and you'd say, what's that? And then they'd look again and the lighting here is brilliant. The, the, the surroundings here is absolutely lovely for art, you know. So who better to ask uh, about that than Tara herself? Uh, it is impressive here, isn't it? It is. It's a fantastic venue to have exhibitions. And we're hoping, I was talking to some of the conservation committees today and we're hoping to do more, more things like this as well in the church. It's definitely a lovely space to have. They have big plans for it. Uh, your own work, Tara, I, I just have to take a look at uh, landscapes and, and you're influenced obviously by the local area. Yes, definitely. I moved to Kilfinnan about three years ago only and the first thing that struck me was the landscape in Kilfinnan. It is absolutely stunning. Every corner you turn, there's so much that to see and paint, ranging from rivers, mountains, forest paths, beautiful old cottages. It's just a beautiful part of the world. And I also teach classes in Ballylanders and Kilfinnan as well and all my... Uh, students have been inspired by the landscape here. It's an absolutely wonderful place to learn how to paint. You've come to Kilfin from where? 
Uh, originally, um, I was born in Canada, but I'm living in Limerick for well, about 30 odd years. So yeah, I was uh, before this, I was near uh, Newport. Yeah. That's probably something alien that we don't appreciate here ourselves, is the landscapes that are, that's around. Yeah, actually, that's what I noticed about her. It's Ballyregan view, you know, and I love the place myself, but an awful lot of people don't even know that Ballyregan exists. And what, the way you see it through her eyes, it's absolutely wonderful, you know, and other people now here today took landscapes from Kilfinnan as well, and, you know, the place, the surrounding is beautiful here, and what a better way than to show true art, you know. Being the Philistine that I am, Tala, uh, I have to mention money. Your, your work isn't, uh, from what I've seen, isn't particularly expensive. No, no, it's not. I'm, I'm mostly a watercolour artist, um, and I do a range of, of types of, of work and a range of prices as well. I can do large, I can do small sketches, um, but I don't charge a, a fortune for my work. No, I don't. I'd rather people appreciate it. If they love it and they want to buy it, that's, that's what I would love for them to have something that they love hanging on their wall. Well, it's really lovely work. And uh, you mentioned that you do, um, you teach art. I, or, do. Uh, yeah. I do, I teach art. I teach art in Ballylanders at the moment. I do morning sessions and I do evening sessions. Um, and so if anybody wants to contact me about that, I'll be starting up again in February. Yeah. As one who failed out for his intercept. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you couldn't obviously do anything with someone. Again. Of course I can. I've had people come to me who have never ever taken up a paintbrush or a pencil and the main thing is they get enjoyment out of it and that's the way I teach. I teach individually so I don't say we're all going to do this today. We just teach, I teach the individual so everybody works on their own project and everybody gets great fun out of it and at the end of the 10 week session everyone has something to show. And speaking and of... That, even today, actually, in saying that, I had one of my students exhibiting here today, and she got great, great pleasure out of that. Limerick's Live 95. Oh, uh, you're enjoying today? Absolutely fantastic. Great atmosphere here, and uh, it's great to see such a community spirit going on here, and everybody joining in, and uh, and the weather's great. Actually, lovely Christmas Eve, and it's dry. And 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 the night on, and young, young yet even. Absolutely. So, um, and we're, we're hoping to have Santa Claus very shortly. So, um, we can A great atmosphere about the town. Yes, there is. You can't have Christmas without Santa Claus, and he'll be arriving soon enough. Well, we thought it would be difficult to surpass the events of last year, but uh, the organisers have certainly uh, done a great job again for Kilfinnan Fair 2011. We've had a marvellous day here in the old town, in the market town. We've had uh, food, crafts, art, everything that you associate with the best of fairs. We've had it here in Kilfinnan. We've also, of course, had the lighting of the Christmas tree. As it says in the poster, folks, Kilfinnan, it's where Christmas begins.